Hi guys, uh, Wednesday 4th September, um, interesting day ahead, um, today I'm going to go through the fry from the first spawning, um, two objectives, three objectives maybe, first objective to remove anything that still has deformities, I know there's some left from the last selection um, which weren't caught and maybe some that have shown up since, so they've got to go first of all, then the second objective um, is to select out my real proper keepers, um, fish that I'm looking to keep through the course of the, the winter season. And I'm looking for 50, maybe 100 fish maximum um, that will stay in the tank behind me um, to be growing for a period of time. So first task we've got to do is try and get the fish out. Um, so last time I tried to get them all out, I failed miserably. Um, so hopefully we can drag a net around a little bit um, and manage to get some out or the majority of them out um, and then use the pan net to, to sort of finish off. So that's the first task, so we'll get them to do that um, and then once they're out we can take a look at them. Right, uh, we've got most of the fish out of the pool, out of the tank. Um, it's turning like winter though, I have to say. Um, unlike the, the selections we've done over the last, last few weeks where I've been moaning about the cold, right now it looks like it's about a pour of rain and strong winds. So. Not the nicest weather to be doing it in, but anyway, have to get on. So this the fry that have been knitted so far. I think I might be in for a bit of heartbreak with more deformities than, than I expected. Fish that I had hopes for that maybe got little bits wrong with them, but hey, we shall see. But there's still at least a nice few I know that are going to be ones that I, I do like. However, once I've gone through them, one by one, we'll take a close look at what we're keeping, what's moving on, and the ones that have broken my heart. Okay, well, selection complete really happy 109 i've kept uh, which i'll show you in a small moment and then after that um, i'll have a sort through and pick out a few of my very special favorites so this is the sum total of the keepers from this year's or this first spawning at the moment 109 not unsatisfied with that number at all um, on this selection i've gone through and, and looked at scalation and that sort of thing as well um, there are some with some some sort of armoured scales but they're ones that maybe particularly have a particularly nice pattern or something you want to see develop around that um, but yeah so very very happy very satisfied with them I need to get these back in the tank let's say oh as I do that, I'll select out a few of my favourites. Um, so we'll get those photographed and on video as well. But generally, very, very satisfied with how they're sort of coming along. Reduce the numbers down slightly now. So it's more refined selection as I narrow it down to my favourite half a dozen or so and which I'll do in a moment. Pretty sure where they come in here and I'll explain the reasons why once I get down to that half a dozen. Um, very much ones that meet the general idea of what I was trying to achieve when I put the Harawake and the Beniki Kikuryu together. Um, several of these I think have shown, or well, several of my favorites in here have shown fairly recently on, on Facebook or on, on videos as well so it's always nice that the ones that you pick out at an early stage stay the course shall we say. But I'm not, not sure many are here, maybe 20 or so in here in the bowl now. Um, I'll get some of these out now into the tank and leave us just with that final half a dozen or so which I'll say now will probably be my favourites and I'll be fairly confident are going to be the best as long as they hold it all together um, once we get through winter. So 
so here they are six of my favorites perhaps my sixth favorite that are being grown on being kept um, we've had to take oh I can probably take this down to the top three in fact um, which would be um, these two light colored ones at the top in the center of frame now both of which very much were the what I was sort of hoping for with the Hariwake Benny Kiko Kuryu cross so they both got nice dark ridge to the scalation down their backs and a nice bright yellow and white pattern oh there's one disappeared um, but the darker ones the one at the bottom was one I posted the other day on Facebook so this one now sent a frame as one which was probably one of my number ones um, overall number ones and it still holds that um, the larger one I'm interested to see how that develops and then there's, there's the smaller of the three there's actually quite a lot which have a very similar style to that got a fairly nice sort of attractive bad pattern to them and some nice lustre yellow head so we'll see how they develop um, let's say this one here the light coloured one oh another one disappeared out um, the one the light colour one in the centre of the frame not the large one at the top this one here probably for some time has been my all 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 over number one um, and it's really nice to see that that dark grey scalation is coming to it not the biggest of frame maybe not the strongest framed fish or certainly not the strongest framed fish that we've got um, but I'm happy with that at the moment so that's where we're at um, 100 actually I took one out as we were sorting through because it had a slightly deformed pectoral fin so I think we're at 108 now um, and there were a couple that were left in there but no idea what they were like um, so we're just over 100 fish left in the tank anyway so looking forward to growing those through the autumn and into the winter and hopefully they'll be joined at some point by some fry that have come from the the third spawning which is still obviously growing somewhere behind these <laughs>